Welcome to another video from Colorado Chip Design. This is Rashid. We learned uh, overflow in the last couple of videos. And uh, we, we looked at why overflow is, is so important. And we, look, we, we came up with a couple of um, rules on how to detect overflow. For unsigned, it's simple. Let's go to that. For unsigned, it was simple, if you remember. All you have to look for is if there is a carry out. Carry out one means it's an overflow. But for unsigned, we look at these scenarios and this was the conclusion. Sign of A and B prime are same. Again, if you, you need to look at previous video um, to know what I mean by B prime, which was actually the um, for subtraction case, it will be uh, two's complement of B, but in addition case, B and B prime are same. Then sign of result is opposite to the sign of either of A or B prime. This was one formula. And we also came up with a very simple one, where we figured that the carry output from the last stage is always different than the carry all from one state before. All right, I, exp I explain everything in detail, but today we will look into first implementing this in hardware and then implementing this in hardware. And you will see the difference between the two and which one is simpler. So look at this one. Again, I'm just reiterating that the sign of A and B prime is same and sign of result is opposite. Uh, this is for the sign case. Okay, for the overflow, as I said, um, it's a case of one, two, three, four, five bit adder. This is the last stage. And let me explain some of the key components here. Each adder is getting an A and B prime. B prime is a multiplexed other B or inverted B comes here if it's a subtraction what we do is we have to select this line and the carry in has to be one so green means this selected and this line selected yeah this this is not connected orally all this should be connected here so an adder become a subtractor and when we, when we subtract a minus b and the carry out from the last stage when this is one means it has uh, overflow has happened and this is zero and overflow so this is a kind of a flag indicator the second case is signed the first condition is sign of a and b prime is same so again the sign is the most significant bit so most significant bit of a and b prime so a most significant bit is a4 and b prime's most significant bit is here so you take these two wires is same and you know that two bits are same means zero zero one one so actually here what we want to do is output is one when both input are one. And if you remember, in case of exclusive R, if it's exclusive R, its output is one when both inputs are odd number of ones, or when one of the input is, is one in the two bit case, then output is one, else it says zero but we want this behavior so, so if you see the kind of the uh, from here to here uh, it's it's an invert so or in other words we can say that this one is exclusive nor and here is exclusive nor so when a4 b4 prime exclusive nor this will be one only for this sorry only for this and this case because we're trying to find if their sign is are same 
Okay, but the second is sine of R is opposite to A and B, either A or B dash. So the sine of the output is this. This is the most significant bit. This came here. And since in this case, we are detecting the sine has to be opposite. So I mean opposite will be one only when exclusive R. So we put exclusive R between this and we can use this or this, either of them. So we just use this one. And overhang happens when both of these are true. So whenever we want to make both true, you need to use an AND gate because this output is one only when this is one and this is one. See, using gates, how we have converted a kind of descriptive logic into a hardware. All we have to control is through this multiplexer, to this, that's it. This will always indicate. Now, okay, let's not go into the delays. <laughs> we'll look into that later on. Okay, this is one. But remember the other scenario we had, Cn is not equal to Cn minus one. Now let's look into the implementation of that. So again, the same circuit that we had before. Cn is carried from the last stage. Cn minus one is carried from the stage before last stage. And as we saw in this case, the condition when both are not equal and this one is always exclusive R gate. So we have exclusive R gate. And this one will go flat. Alright, so you have seen it that okay, in this game, this will be much simpler, much simpler implementation than this one. So I would prefer you know, this one because one gate is used here you have one two three gates are used smaller area fewer gates all right short of short video today but hopefully you have understood the implementation of overflow detection see you next time